Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. Today I thought I should give you guys a little update on Ling Ling life here in Beijing. I am back in Beijing. <laughs> so happy about it. Um, so let me tell you, last year, December 2016, I was doing an internship and I was so, so excited about it. It was the first time I was doing an internship and it was just really great. I was... Uh, happy and I was sitting in an office and I was with people and it made it motivated me to do more but after a while I realized that I was sitting there nine hours a day and I didn't really learn anything I was basically just doing what I already knew um, and they gave me things to do but they didn't really bother to like teach me anything else and I was just like no, hell no, I'm not gonna waste my time doing this when I can earn money instead. Um, so one week I got two other like part-time job offers and I thought, okay, I need to quit this internship because if I don't, I have to work full-time in January and I don't wanna do that if I don't feel that I'm learning anything and I work for free. <laughs> so basically what I did was that just before Christmas, just before going home, I actually went to talk to the boss and I told him that I wanted to quit. So I quit my internship after six weeks and what did I learn from it? Well, I learned a few things. I learned how to, you know, how to confront people. I don't like to confront people uh, like straight up in their face. It makes me kind of nervous. Um, not that it was anything bad to quit, but I'm just not a quitter. I don't like to quit things uh, without finishing them. Like this internship had to be for three months, but I only did it for six weeks, so I kind of felt like a failure. But I was like, hell no, you should not feel like that. Come on, Jayo, you can do it. <laughs> and you can do it too, remember? Um, <laughs> if you're not happy in the situation, change it and make it better for you. Anyways, uh, so I went home and I had a lot of fun, but then at some point I was like, oh my God, I'm going back in January. I have nothing to do <gasps> oh, Ling Ling doesn't like to not have anything to do it makes her very nervous <laughs> and sad <laughs> so anyways um, before I went back to China I was looking up online uh, Chinese Mandarin schools uh, around my university nearby my university and I chose the nearest one then I checked their social media channels and then I went into the website and I saw that they were actually looking for an intern <laughs> yes but this time I was like, I don't want to be fooled again. I'm not going to work full time for free without learning anything. So this is going to be on my, what's it called? On my Yaochou. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I hate when the words are gone in my head. Mm, bad. Anyways. Um, so I basically put down a, um, I wrote down an email to them. I fixed my CV, I updated everything and I said to them, you know what, I can work 18 hours for you guys on social media, do social media because the social media sucked. Sorry, no offense, but it did. Um, so I said I can do your social media and I can help you write a blog or if you want to, I can help you make videos as well because I've done it before, I have some experience in it. And, um, and then you guys can give me nine hours of free one-on-one uh, -on -one Mandarin classes a week. So it was kind of like an exchange, in exchange instead of just me giving, giving, giving. Um, and I thought it was a great idea. So I sent it. I was really nervous before sending it, but I talked to a friend who kind of motivated me and said, you know what, just ask. And if they say no, then you find something else to do. Like, it's okay, don't worry about it. So I was like, okay, great, I'll do it. And I did. And they replied immediately and they really, really wanted me to come. They said though that they, only, they could only give me like two on one. So we were two students because they had another intern who did like um, who is also like HSK five and um, and also is studying at their school. So I said, okay, well, if you can only give me two on one nine hours a week, then I'm only going to work for you twelve hours a week. And they was they were happy. Yeah, they were satisfied. They said yes, we can do it like that. So I am so excited to say that I'm going to start doing this internship in the end of February, and I really hope that that is going to work out better than the last one and it's also much closer to my school and it's a really cool area it's like 
Um, it's a newly built area, but it looks like old China, old Beijing style architecture. It's so cool. I'm gonna bring you guys there when I go in the end of February. So that's what's going on on the working side, but so right now I don't have anything to do, but I have this little project that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about and you're probably not surprised because I feel like all YouTubers they have this idea. Uh, I didn't know beforehand, I've been wanting, but I've been wanting to write a book for like ages. Um, in 2011 when I came to China the first time so many crazy things happened and I wrote a blog but it was only in Danish and I felt like I wanted to write the real story because you know I experienced something and then I wrote something I wrote a part of it online, but I didn't really tell the full story. So I feel like I want to tell the full, full story. Just be like honest and write about my eight months in China, the whole experience here. It was insane, crazy, amazing, crazy, crazy, and crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this month I'm trying to write as much of my story down and then I hope I can publish next year, you know, how much time it takes and I don't know how it's gonna go. I have no clue how I'm gonna do it. I have some contact with different other authors who already published uh, books some books uh, so yeah I'm just gonna take one step at a time but that's what I'm gonna do right now right now here in January and then my Gui Mi my best friend is coming next month I think I told you guys about that already be prepared for that I'm probably gonna send out like small bits and bites I hope you guys want to read some of it that would be really cool actually so that was about internship and book writing and we're gonna start school in the end of February so I have a really long time still before we're gonna start school and I don't think we're gonna have many classes so I'm just gonna do the internship most of the time during the next semester I think and learn more Chinese I'm so excited for that because you know when I'm with Chinese friends um, or dating a Chinese guy I'm just like my Chinese is not good enough I just need to be better um, better 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 you can always learn more so that is my goal for the first part of 2017 anyways and after the next semester we don't have any more classes so i'm also thinking where to go traveling um right now what is on my list is a xinjiang tour it is uh, a japan tour there's a travel conference in japan i really want to go to in june uh xinjiang should be like august maybe my parents are coming in july so that's really exciting my mom has been here before she really loved china um, um, my dad has not been here before and he's also picky about food and not crazy about the heat So that's gonna be exciting to see if he actually likes any of it, but yeah, we'll see about that and then um, Next autumn. I'm not sure yet I need to earn some money because I can't go anywhere if I don't earn any money of course So that's like the goal for the first part of the year as well to earn a little bit more so I am more financially secure, uh, secure to go anywhere the next uh, the end the last six months of 2017 but anyways who knows what's gonna happen maybe somebody else somebody else something else is coming up and then I change anyways so I should stop rambling right now I hope you're having a great day, evening wherever you are and I hope you had a great start on 2017 and I also hope that you're excited to uh, you know just uh, come with me on another journey here in China yay <laughs> I don't know where they come from, came from, sorry, sorry, weird. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. Uh, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out, see ya and zai jian. Bye bye.